Hi boys and girls, welcome to Art Recycled with Mrs. Hallemeyer. Today we are gonna do something that is so fun. We are going to do puffy painting with shaving cream. So you're gonna need some basic supplies for this. First thing you're gonna need is some cardboard from a cereal box or maybe an Amazon box. Second thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need shaving foam. So not shave gel, shave foam. And this was 99 cents from Target. You're gonna need uh, Elmer's glue, which I know you all have because it was on your school supply list, a spoon, and if you want to make it colored, you're going to need food coloring, watercolor paint, poster paint, something to color your foam. So boys and girls, in the end, these are going to look so good. You're going to want to eat them. And this is a project based on the art of Wayne Tebow. And if you want to look up his art, you can search it online in Google Images. But he did these awesome dessert paintings. And the reason why he got famous is because, you guessed it, people looked at his paint and how he gooped it on. And they said, mm, I want to eat that. So without further ado, let's learn how to do this. All right, boys and girls. So the first part of shaving cream puffy painting that I'm gonna show you how to do is you have to know how to draw basically the base of whatever type of dessert you want to do, boys and girls. So the pie plate or the ice cream cone here or the cupcake. Uh, holder so I'm gonna show you how to draw that first if you're older and you're like I don't need to see how to draw that you can just fast forward this part of the video but for younger kids they're probably gonna need something to have some type of reference to make their dessert painting so I'm gonna start with a pie plate I love meringue pies meringue pies are those kind of pies with like the fluffy top so I'm going to start by making a curved wide line at the bottom like this and then you notice how I went all the way across the cardboard. I'm going to go diagonally up to the left and diagonally up to the right. And you want those two lines to be about the same, boys and girls. And I'm drawing with a Sharpie, but you can draw with a pencil just so that you can erase, okay? The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw another curved line. And this curved line, boys and girls, is actually the same one as this one. So if you think of the term parallel from math, if they were parallel, they're running alongside each other and they would never cross because they have the same curve. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the crest of the pie. And to draw the crest of the pie, all I'm gonna do is kind of curve up and then I'm gonna make that same curve again. Okay. And then I'm gonna draw the pie plate. I'm gonna kinda of draw these marks in it that kinda of show that it's kinda of like one of those glass plates. So I'm gonna draw one in the middle that kinda of goes down, and then I'm gonna draw these curved ones that don't go all the way up and down on this bottom part, but they kind of curve to the left and curve to the right, okay? Now once I have that done, that's how I got this look for my strawberry meringue pie. I can color it in with either, because this was strawberry, I colored it with pink and kind of a peachy color for the crust, but like lemon meringue, I would make yellow, right? Or lime meringue, I would make green. Banana cream, it would be yellow too. So it just depends on what kind of pie you want. Chocolate pie would be brown. So you can use your markers or crayons to color this in now. The next thing I'm gonna show you how to draw is the cone for the ice cream cone. So here's my cardboard. I'm gonna, this is a long piece, so I'm gonna scoot it up a bit. The ice cream cone is just a triangle like this with a curved top, boys and girls. It's not straight, it's curved. And then what I'm gonna do is starting on one side, I'm gonna draw lines that go diagonally down one way. And boys and girls, if I ever go too fast, you can pause the video, right? And then, I do diagonal lines the other way. Now for the ice cream, it does kind of help to find something to draw around so you know how big to make your ice cream scoops. So I have a, a lid here from a pickle jar. And so this is kind of a good size. I'm just gonna kind of go around this one. So I know I want my ice cream about that big, right? When I use my shaving cream. And then I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna overlap this a little bit and two, two scoops of ice cream, like that. See that? 
All right, next one, last one I'm gonna show you is the cupcake. Cupcake is kind of like the pie tin, just smaller. I'm gonna make a curved line like this. Go diagonally up, diagonally up. And then this time I'm gonna curve down but when I curve down, I'm gonna to try to do it with a zigzag. And boys and girls, if this is too hard, you can just use a regular straight line. And then I'm gonna make one straight line down the center. And then these ones go all the way down. This one is a little different than the pie tin or the pie plate. They don't just kind of stop in the middle. I'm gonna go all the way down. And these ones on the left side go diagonally down toward the center. And the ones on the right go diagonally down towards the center. So that's going to be my uh, paper for my cupcake cup. And I'm not gonna draw where I want the cream to go. I'll kind of make that up when I do my shaving cream. So now once that's done, now I have to make the mixture for my shaving cream puppy paint. So I have a bowl here and I have my 99 cent shaving cream from Target. And you won't need too much. I'm just gonna spray it into the bowl. And you, like I said before, boys and girls, you're gonna need the kind that foams, not the kind that's a gel. There we go, nice white foam. Now, if I want it just to be white frosting, I don't have to do anything to this, but I do have to add my Elmer's glue. And this was a little bit confusing for me when I was looking it up on the blogs because I didn't know how much to add. Um, and all I found was that it said, basically add enough so that it forms stiff peaks. So I'm gonna show you what that means. I think a safe way, boys and girls, if you have about this much shaving cream in a bowl, would be to add a spoonful. So now I'm gonna mix. Mix it up real good. And now I'm gonna pull the spoon to see that it forms a stiff peak, and it does. So a stiff peak, boys and girls, I'm gonna try to show you this maybe sideways, it means that the whipping cream, see that, is forming a peak like a mountain. And so you wanna make sure it looks like a little gooey like that, okay? All right, so now, if I want just white frosting, I'm gonna leave it be and I'm not gonna add any food coloring. So boys and girls, we're gonna um, color my cupcake cup here really quick. And now boys and girls, you're gonna see me experiment with my different tools. So um, I'm just gonna keep this white and I'm gonna add it on in kind of a big dollop like that. And then I'm gonna smooth it around with my spoon. I find that smoothing, smoothing the shaving cream around boys and girls, a lot of times it actually works better with a spoon uh, more so than a knife or it works really well with kind of a brush, but to put it on, I just kind of put it on with a spoon and put a big dab there. That's good. So now I kind of want this to have maybe like a, a texture to it. If you want a texture to it, you could just leave it be, but I'm going to take my brush and kind of go like this Ooh, to kind of give it a swirly type of look. Ooh, yeah, I like that. There we go. So now this cupcake is done. When I leave this dry overnight, it has to dry overnight, maybe I'm gonna put a cherry on top and then my puffy paint should be good to go. Now, if you want food coloring in this, um, I have some food dye here. So maybe my ice cream, I want it to be mint ice cream, right? I don't want it to be white. So I don't want it to be like dark green because that may look kind of weird for ice cream, but I'm just gonna put one drop in and I'm gonna mix it up first and just see how that goes. And kind of looking at it, boys and girls, it's, it's kind of light. So now I'm gonna add another drop. So boys and girls, it's easier to start light and then to go dark. If you go too dark too fast, then that's kind of hard to fix. It's really hard to make it lighter. In fact, you probably won't be able to make it lighter. And again, I'm using food dye, but boys and girls, you can probably use watercolor paint or poster paint or anything um, that you have that's like a liquid color for this. You don't have to use food dye if you don't have it. 
All right, boys and girls, you are gonna watch me layer one color on top of another color. This will help save your shaving cream. So I'm gonna layer blue on top of green because I know if I mix those two colors, I'm gonna get blue green. So I'm using my knowledge of the color wheel. If I were to take red and put it on top of green, then I would get brown shaving cream. And well, that wouldn't look very good, now would it? So boys and girls, you can mix your shaving cream like this and leave it kind of two separate colors, kind of swirly, or you can mix it all into one color. Or if you're going to look at my meringue pie, which you're going to see in a minute, I took my brush and whisked the shaving cream up to kind of get that meringue type of look. Boys and girls, remember that if you like these videos, remember to subscribe to Art Recycled with Mrs. Hollemeyer. All right, enjoy your puffy painting. 